Yo, man. <sighs> Rickert. Yo. <sighs> Reeves. Yo, listen to this shit. I am led by the white-winged Griffith. I am Rickert of the Band of the Falcon. And granted, there are discrepancies between the Band of Hawk, Band of Falcon, whatever. Ends off with this shit. The Falcon of Light is not my commander. Farewell. Oh, ah. You know, honestly, the only thing that would have made that scene beastlier is if he said, fare thee well. That w- oh. If I was good, I would have been mad salty. Like, what? Look at me. I sparkle. I sparkle in the middle of daytime. The sun's on me and I'm still twinkling. And you want to smack me? I would have been mad salty. But damn, that commands respect. That commands a mountain of respect. This chapter is so simple, but... He smacked Griffith, like, like, literally the only one to, like, bear his hands upon Griffith in such a manner. The only one, not even Guts in his ferocious black sword, yeah. No, no. Not even the, well, I think his moniker is the Black Knight. But uh, Guts, I think that's his moniker, whatever. The point here is that not even Guts is being able to, you know, do something like that. Ricker. And you know, Griffith got cocky, like, yeah, so on the sword hill, uh, you finally get to see my dream life. Fucking, what are you talking about? Like, that's my shit. What? I'll... Yo, I was mad hyped. I was mad hyped. I was mad hyped. I read that shit, I was like, yeah. Mad respect. Mad respect for Rickard. Like, seriously, that stunned me. But right now, it's getting out of Dodge. Bro, you need to move. Because you have Locus and company. They're like, fucking, what? <sighs> you knave! How dare you? And it's like, clearly, they're pissed. For good fucking reason. <laughs> oh, you don't, that's iconic. Ugh. Mad respect. Matters. I mean, yeah, the the dude cries, and he's not as forward as Guts, obviously. Nor near as forward. He's not... He does have regrets. That's very obvious. He regrets not dying with the other band of Hawks. He regrets the fact that he couldn't go over with, like, Guts. Or he couldn't really even hate Griffith to begin with. I mean, Guts said, you can't hate Griffith. And he's right. He can't hate Griffith. But damn... When push comes to shove, convictions do not falter. Oh, what are you talking about? I'm the one who made those swords. You didn't do shit. I'm the one who made that sword hill. Fuck you. I don't serve you. I serve the white-winged Griffith. That's who I serve. The Falcon and I can go fuck off. I'm like, yes, that shit got me hyped, man. And it's like 10 o'clock at night. God damn it. <sighs> now, aside from the awesomeness of Rickard, smacking, in essence, a demigod, if not a god. No, no, he's a god. No, he's a full-on god. He's just wearing human flesh. Thing here is that you have, of course, as usual, the beautiful, the fantastic scenery. Beautiful. I mean, actually, I think that now, because it's been a while since I have read, since we have read Berserk, I think the last time a chapter came out was in, like, August or July. But when you look at the initial pages of Berserk, of this chapter, i got to find it somewhere. Because I saved the page. I just want to... Because I, I read the page, obviously. Because I had to quote it, but... Oh, yeah. So, when you actually go to the chapter, it says, like, Berserk, like... Yeah, like, strongest fantasy comic. I was like, fuck. Like, what the hell is that supposed to mean? I, like, that sounded really pugnacious. Like, what the hell? Strongest fantasy comic. 
Uh, number one fantasy comic, Berserk, presented by Miura Ken... Of, of course, Miura Kentaro, with Studio Gaga. So, it's fascinating, obviously. Because I didn't know that... Oh, well, because I don't remember. I really don't remember if he was actually dubbed, like, the strongest fantasy. I mean, I would assume the best fantasy manga in Japan. That was just, that's just my assumption. Not the strongest, per se. So... Obviously, that I think is a huge title, given the fact that Miura <laughs> comes out like once every three blue moons and still maintaining some type of hierarchy within the realms, within the system that is modern day manga. I mean, we're talking about a dude who had three movies, did like a side series, and Berserk is still popping. Shit. <laughs> It's still on fire, which is insane. Seriously. So, props. Mad props. And he's working on that other series, too. Uh, Japan, whatever it's called. Yeah, no, it's called Japan. Yeah, yeah, that's it. But either way, point here is that I'm liking where this is going. And I like Rickard's mentality. The artwork was, of course, beautiful, wonderful. You have the initial dialogue between Griffith, the Pope dude, who's going to wind up marrying him and Charlotte, and then you have uh, Sonia, who is still her usual self, and like, you know, just basic interaction between the three, that's what I perceive. The real stuff after comes when freaking Rickard's there, after Locust, you know, because remember the whole pandemonium thing, and he showed him the dark side of things, and, you know, Gr I mean, because he's realizing that Griffith, he is godly. At the same time, he is so evil, he is so demonic. He is the God, yet he is the devil. He is both sides of the same coin at the same time. That's Griffith. Because even though he's done so many things that can be perceived to be evil, the end result is this. This Falconia, this haven where people can live peacefully. And in essence, they worship him as if he is a god or a kingly god, something like that. But the point here is that he is giving them peace and tranquility in the most hazardous of times. Since the worlds have fused, and now you got, like, ogres and trolls. Oh, the trolls. Oh, my fucking God. The trolls, man. You got niggas like the trolls running around. Like, we coming. Literally, we coming. And then white stuff and shit. And you're like, whoa, calm down. But they won't calm down. But they can be protected in Falcone with this giant fucking walls and plus he has his boys in the back too in case something arises like there's like three-headed dragon like awesome godzilla shit he can bring out his boys the apostles or right, bring up the crystal dragon all right so you have three-headed dragon versus crystal dragon and then shit goes down so that's how it works point here is this you can't really call griffith evil he's not evil he's not a villain he he's he's something else man he's he's something way more than that. But this is the first time I've seen his, like... Because, aside from Guts... And, of course, Cass is not of her own will, because Cass is not right up here, obviously. He's not been turned away. People have always come to him for guidance and for protection and for inspiration, stuff like that. And yet you have someone who he believed. Let's be real here. Griffith believed that... Rickard may have actually turned to him because he knows how Rickard is. And he said, no. Guess what? My balls just dropped three inches. No. Are you... Mm, stop. I'm like, ah. That's what I'm talking about right there. I like it. But he has to bail. He has to bail immediately. I don't feel safe for Rickard at all. Not... No, no, no. Right now, he's a knave, all right? He is the number one knave in Falconia. So it's time to bail. It's time to go back home. I mean, granted, it was already dangerous out there already, but yeah, he, he has to go somewhere. Yeah, he has to go somewhere safe. I don't know. I mean, maybe he can... I don't think he's going to be able to follow Guts and the others to that elf land where, where the elf king is. Who's supposed to be like massively hacks, like OP, like almost god hand level from the hype alone of this guy. But we have to wait and see. So I'm done. King of Lightning, the chapter, very simple, but I did like it a lot. I'm be reading of a great, but I'm going to stop it there because it is a simple chapter. Even though I love what Ricker does, 
you got to take into account the other stuff of the chapter, and it is extremely simple, and it is very short, even though the arc is beautiful, but again, it's kind of like, you want more substance from Kentaro Miura on a regular basis, which we don't get, which is a shame. That's like the biggest downfall of Berserk. If you're going to just, if you read Berserk not on a weekly basis, you're okay. Like, you're, you're, you're good to go. But if you do, it's like, pff, weekly, I mean, well, I should say like every three or four months. Yeah, in that kind of basis. You get my point, but I'm done. King Lightning, rate the video, comment, subscribe. Peace, have a nice day.